Hello, my name is Eberhard and this is our introduction to Source Trail. Source Trail is a cross-platform source explorer made to help software engineers navigate and understand an existing code base. It is available for free for non-commercial use. Let's take a look. After creating a project, Source Trail will first index all source files. That way it knows about all classes, functions and types used within your code base. The indexing is done completely offline and after it's fully finished once, you will only need to refresh changed files. SourceTrail's user interface consists of three main components, the search bar, the graph visualization and the code view. Use the search bar to find any symbol throughout the whole code base. It supports fuzzy matching, so you just need to enter parts of the name or starting letters. I just activated the method tic-tic-toe run. Now the graph view is showing us an overview of that symbol's relationships to other symbols. Classes and types are displayed in gray, methods and functions in yellow, fields and variables in blue. I can easily see here that the method run is only called once by the function main. Clicking on the call edge shows me where in the code view. I can also see that two fields of tic-tac-toe are being accessed. Clicking on a field node activates it and shows where it is referenced. Classes can be expanded to show all of their members or selected with a click to see all the connections to other symbols. The position of symbols around the active symbol in the middle tells something about their relationship. The active symbol depends on symbols on the right. The ones on the left depend on the active symbol. On the top are base types, on the bottom are derived ones. The code view will always show you the definition of the active symbol on top and all references within other files below. You can extend the scope of what is shown and select another symbol by just clicking on it. You can also highlight local symbols that are not shown within the graph. If the snippets are too limiting for you, you can also maximize and have the whole file visible at once. Then you can navigate by just clicking on edges within the graph view. In case you were wondering how to integrate SourceTrail into your development workflow, we provide plugins for communicating back and forth with your source editor or IDE. I am currently connected to Sublime Text. Now I can just choose the context menu action or do a control click and have this file opened in my editor at that location. I can also go the other way and activate a symbol directly from my editor. Lastly, I wanted to show you some additional features that can be handy sometimes. We usually only show one level of dependency in the graph, but you can extend that to show the whole call graph leading to a certain function. You can still activate edges the same way to see their location. The same goes for classes, where you can see the whole inheritance chain. You can also look at multiple symbols in parallel by opening them in separate tabs. It works just the same way as in your web browser. If you want to go back to previously active symbols, you can use the back button or just choose from the history dropdown. And if you want to remember a symbol, you can create a bookmark. And then later reactivate it from the bookmarks manager. That's it for now. For more, take a look at our other videos and the links in the description. To try SourceTrail yourself, simply download from our webpage sourcetrail.com. There you also find information on our current language support. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed our introduction to Sourcetrail.